Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, and here I am doing my December bullet journal. Late to making videos once again, but mainly because of finals week, but I'm on break now, so vlogmas and everything should be coming as regularly scheduled. Anyway, if you haven't already figured out this month's theme, then you did not look at the thumbnail or cover. But basically, it's based off of the new Netflix series, Dash and Lily. It's a cute December Christmas rom-com series about a girl and a boy who pass notes and fall in love through a red notebook. It's based off of a book. I have not read the book, but... Not sponsored, by the way. I am just fangirling. So, for the cover, I just drew the red notebook and these Christmas-type leaves around it. Super basic, but I think it was cute and tied in the theme. Next up... For the quote spread, I wanted it to be a little bit extra this month, so I went ahead and did some digital art, and I drew out the two main characters, Dash and Lily, obviously. And it took a lot of layers, and I really am proud of it. And then I took a piece of red paper, printed out the drawing, and cut them out, did a little white outline to make them pop, and then I did not film it, but I wrote a quote from the show at the top that you will see at the end of the final flip through. I really am proud of it and I really like it. Next up, the calendar. What do you have to do every month? My calendar is always pretty basic. I need some more ideas for 2021 because I will be continuing my bullet journal series through it, hopefully. Also, I will be starting some new series, which will be announced later this month basically i did two page calendar that would be spread across the binder slash journal and then i drew two boxes one for notes and one at the bottom for a review so i can write a little review of the show next spread is a holiday gift log basically i just divided a paper into two columns one for who the present is from and what it was so i can write thank yous and just you know be appreciative and i always forget things I saw this idea on Pinterest and I thought it was really cute. Um, if you haven't noticed this month, I am definitely using red and green, the Christmas holiday-ish colors, and I really like it. At the bottom, I drew a little Santa hat with the word Lily engraved and a little hot cocoa mug. Final spread of the month is a social media growth tracker. I've made multiple of these this year and it's really fun to track my growth. I've grown so much from the beginning of the year. Thank you so much to you guys. I'm going to talk about that more in my end of the year video. And then for the tracker, I drew out the four app icons of the social medias I use. That includes Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Pinterest. Um, On Pinterest, I do not really post. Maybe I should start next year. I don't know. I keep saying I'm going to, but... You know how that goes. And then at the bottom, since I had some dead space, I drew out some buildings because Dash and Lily does take place in New York, which is a really beautiful place. I want to go there when everything is safe once again. The entire show has this, like, holiday aesthetic in the city that I'm really in love with, and that's kind of why I wanted it to be part of my theme. And also, it's kind of a hint towards my new series, which will be announced, which I keep saying, but look out for that you can also follow all my socials they're in the description box or on the screen you can just find them wherever don't stop looking in my eyes are you cold do you want to see Next, I drew bars beside each of the apps to represent how many followers I have. For TikTok and Instagram, M stands for main account and A stands for art account because I like to separate them. Once again, in the description and also at the end of the month, I will make another set of bars just below to see how many followers I have grown from. As always, likes, subscribers, etc. They don't really matter. This was just for my own personal tracking. And also, once I'm done with this spread, you guys will see the final flip through of 2020. And I'm super excited to show you guys 2021 spreads coming soon. I know you don't get it, but there's no need to fret it. It's like a gift, it's about the thought. No name might be too much, and then go might take a while. But thank you for coming, I know that you're trying.